In this video, I want to teach you guys how to create a professional email. I recommend that everyone set up a professional email at some point in time. Uh, you don't have to do it right now, but once you start making money and revenue, I suggest you create one. You're going to use that email to communicate to your customers when you respond to them. You're going to use that email to talk to vendors to find products and sourcing products. Overall, it just makes you look more professional. When I say professional email, I'm referring to an email that has your um, your specific professional domain at the end of it. For example, you know, support at kevinprinson.com or info at kevinprinson.com. Um, please note, you must own a domain name before you can create a professional email. That that sounds obvious, but I wanted to just kind of point that out. So if you haven't purchased a domain name yet, you cannot create a professional domain professional email because a professional email is created by having a professional domain name first. Um, and another tip, to avoid the need of creating multiple professional emails, which comes at a cost, so it does cost money to have a professional email. It doesn't cost that much. I think it's like 10 bucks a month or something. But um, to avoid needing to create multiple emails, um, use a comprehensive email that can be used for anything related to your store. For example, make one that's t uh, make an email that's info at whatever your domain name because info can be used to answer questions. Info can be used to uh, talk to vendors. Info can be used for anything. Um, if you use support, support's like okay too. Um, except, uh, actually, I would recommend support, hello, info. All of those are good choices. I would not use your name. Like for example, my name is Kevin. I would not write Kevin at xyz.com because when people when you answer emails for customer service and you're you're applying to your customers, you don't want it to seem that you yourself are personally messaging them because that doesn't seem professional. You want to make it seem like you have an entire um, uh, customer service department. Uh, so when customers receive emails that say support at, at xyz.com or info at xyz.com, they're going to assume that you're much more of a professional company. Um, so I like to use G Suite. G Suite is a platform for emails that is created by uh, Google or Gmail. The reason I, I recommend G Suite is because they use the same platform as Gmail. And I use Gmail in my personal life. So if you're, if you're familiar with Gmail, which is a pretty intuitive platform, uh, G Suite will be also very very intuitive. It will actually it will actually allow you to log into your um, professional email via gmail.com, which is kind of interesting. So to get to G Suite, you're just going to search G Suite into Google, and it's the first um, link or the second link uh, right here. G Suite.com slash G Suite.google.com once you get to the website, it should look something like this. As you can see, it is owned by Google. This is Google's platform or Gmail's platform. Uh, you can look at pricing here. It's really, really affordable. Like I said, it's about $6 a month um, and goes on. And, and each one has different options. If you have multiple emails versus just your own singular email, it may cost more or less. Um, just review that and choose whatever is appropriate. Uh, to get started, you can do it from the pricing section or you can just click get started here. At some point in the process, uh, it's going to ask you to import, input your domain name and it's going to verify that it's your domain name and you own that domain name. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do it right now just because I don't want to create um, a new professional email because this is just an example store. But I suggest that you do this. You, again, you don't have to do it right away. But once you start making revenue, once you have customers that you need to email or you want to work with other businesses, then you want to set up a professional email because you always want to look professional when you're selling or you're working with other businesses. Okay, guys? Um, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys on the next video.